welcome y'all to the week of Transformer, where today we take a look at Transformers Legacy United Origins Wheeljack. Wheeljack here is the third in the Target exclusive Origins line. They aim to give us Cybertronian modes of those four or five bots that we saw in More Than Meets the Eye episode number one. I'm still amazed they pulled off Bumblebee's alt mode, but the bot mode is a bit kippled. Jazz looks amazing in both modes. Jackie here falls somewhere in between those for me. Climbing board the kibble train with Bumblebee was some of the most gigantic kibble that I ever did see. Somehow, I don't mind it that much. Don't get me wrong, this entire roof is horrendous. But the way that it sits just slightly off the back allows enough space, creates enough distance to create a rather pleasing bot mode silhouette. One of my biggest concerns when images of this guy first leak were these huge legs. Look at these chonky gas drums. Jackie will always been hitting calf day hard. They're pretty unsightly, but in person they aren't as egregious as images made them out to be, and they stay tabbed in pretty well. Way better than that travesty hotshot. To be so boxy, Wheeljack here articulates pretty well actually, with feet on sturdy ball joints, allowing wonderful range of motion. Knees not only get beyond a 90 deputa transformation, hinge in as well. I believe this inward hinge was previously only used on Studio Cup. It's a really cool piece of engineering, so I'm glad to see it used again. Plus, it definitely adds to the articulation of this figure. The thighs get these really nice gap fillers here, with a 360 above the thigh, at the waist, wrist, and above the elbow. Arms and legs go out all the way, and the head is on a nice ball joint for 360 movements and some nice tilts side to side that really add to the posing. For accessories, we get a lovely interpretation of Wheeljack's cannon from More Than Me CI Part 1. We get these blade pieces here, and then we get this Cybertronian road thing that can be used as wings for some reason but really comes more to play in his alt mode. The transformation for this blocky bloat takes place primarily below the waist. Spin waist around, flip out this menagerie of panels, rotate foot around and tuck into the cavity here, untap the head, flip down the chest, hinge this entire assembly down, hinge legs out, and knees on the cup hinge, peg the clear plastic chest with a small hole here, pin panel, rotate hand and tuck in, rotate shoulders up and spin arm swivel around, Bend 90 degree, connect halves together, and peg hood into the front. Now just situate all these panels correctly and bang! Cybertronian wheeljack. Transformation for this blocky bullet can be a bit of a pain the first few times, but the results you get are well worth it. I mean, look at this. The colors are spot on and the tampon on the front matches exactly. It's like you jumped off the screen. I'm simply amazed at the asymmetrical engineering on the front here, and I really love that they included these little clear tabs on the bottom given that illusion that he's hovering like he did on more than ECI episode one. And now the remaining accessories come into play, with the blades on the front and the blue windshield, just like he had on more than ECI episode one. Mumbly or the Energon rods can store in the back, and the Energon rods can actually store on the side. And there we have it, Target exclusive Origins Wheeljack, a release that I really think is well worth it even with the compromise that we're made. This has been the Weekly Transformer, Thank you guys for watching as always. Stay tuned for our live streams and everything else we have going on around here. Give us a like and a share when you can. I have some big announcements coming to the channel very soon. I promise we'll get those out to you. Until then, thank you guys for watching. Y'all have a great one. Wheeljack here is the third bot in the Wheeljack here is the third in the Target Exclusive Origins line. A line that aimed to give us <sighs> Wheeljack here is the third in the Wheeljack here is the third in the Target Exclusive Origins line, formerly known as Mum. Actually, Wheeljack here is the third in the Target Exclusive Origins line. They aim to give us those five or six bots that we saw in more of the. Make these the I. Bleh, da, 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 da. Ah.